Hi folks, I hope you're doing great as usual. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're looking at, a, well, it's a maze game in which there were loads. Uh, this one is 3D Maze by J.A. Still in 1986. The keys are redefinable, so we'll do that, but there's no back button, it's just left, right and forward. The idea is quite simple, you go around a maze, you can got, well, difference of four you can generate here, 20 squares by 20 squares up to the maximum, and you've just got to find the exit and that's pretty much it. Uh, I think there's some bombs about about the place there to get you into trouble. What's different about this one uh, is, is it like, there's, the, there's where we started. It's got a checkerboard um, floor and it does move quite quick and quite rightly so, because it was in 1986. And the majority of the, the maze games, a bit like this and Square, were in the early 80s, starting from a 3D monster maze uh, on the 16K by JK Great uh, Software. Uh, started off on the ZX81, that one. So it's just me going around then. Looks like the whole maze is green here. We're interested to see if the other maze are different uh, colours. Uh, the 3D Monster Maze did get a remake uh, in 2018, which was reviewed by uh, Richard Dodds, so that's worth going. Uh, recent maze games we've reviewed, uh, well fairly recent because as I say there's quite a few of these, it's Alien Maze and Embassy Assault if you want to check those ones uh, out. Now this moves the quickest out of any of the ones that I've seen before, so good. It's also using a different engine. Um, you know, it is very green and there's gradient on the walls and we've hit a landmine and don't do that. Um, initially, I think 3D Monster Maze, the colour remake is more exciting because you're trying to be chased by a dinosaur the whole time that gives you a bit of jeopardy. Here there's no jeopardy apart from the time ticking down in the bottom you can see. Uh, or a uh, bit of a monster behind you, that would have entertained a kid a lot more. So I think um, kids might have been a bit bored with this one, but uh, for what there is, as an adult, I can see it's been coded well, but uh, as a kid, if you said to a kid the game's coded well but, uh, but a bit boring, they're not going to play it, are they? They're not bothered about how it's well it's coded, they're just bothered about the playability. Uh, it's all about dodgy gameplay and nincompoop nonsense, Chad. We're beating stress at the moment, we're just going round a checkerboard of maze. Um, if you haven't subscribed so far, please consider doing so as we go through the ZX Spectrum's extensive catalogue. We're zipping through um, over a thousand now and gunning for two thousand at some point, I hope. But there's a plenty of games for us to look at. Hopefully I'm hitting a few in this range that are in your childhood on some you've just forgotten and you suddenly thought, oh yes, it's that game and it unlocks a load of memories. Here we go. See the other ZX Spectrum games in that we've reviewed so far. Click on my username. Takes you to the channel page. I'm, I'm quite clearly I'm lost. I'm, I always get disorientated in these. Anyway, it takes you to the channel page. Uh, then um, click on the playlist tab, and ZX Spectrum will be there with a load of other stuff. Will I find the exit door? Well, it's pretty much random. Uh, there's no sort of like. Uh, well, you've got in the bottom right there, east. Oh, I've gone around a big circle. East, north, south, and west, letting you know what direction you're going in. But uh, I've got no sense of direction here. Uh, from what I can tell, there's not a map you can bring up. Alien Maze did have a map in the first screen, at least. This one hasn't. So, yes, with the floor being exactly the same everywhere, God knows where I'm going. Um, would I play this a lot? Well, every now and again, I think, but not a great deal. Um, one could argue, without games like this, as basic as they were, uh, you wouldn't have had games like Doom. Um, so step that up a bit, you're going for a maze, but there's loads of things trying to shoot you, and Wolfenstein 3D as well, uh, around every corner. Yeah, it's Doom without the enemies, I'm afraid. 3D Monster Maze, Dinosaur, Colour Remake, that's the, probably the best one, my favourite one on the ZX Spectrum. It's a bit where everyone writes their favourite ones in the thing below. I can't get through that blue door. Hmm, I, I thought that might be the exit, but we're not going anywhere. And the border flashes when you're running out of time. Uh, blown up again. Moves 307. I'm doing lots of crazy moves. Write down your favourite move below. Uh, my favourite one was 171. Remember that move? That was back in time. That was a, what a great move. Um, also, write down your favourite dance move, whether it be the wiggly worm, uh, the moonwalk, uh, uh, point to the ceiling, point to a random object, um, thrust your knee into a, a, a chair. Uh, whatever your favourite move is, here we go. You've done them all at some point, and I've run out of time, and the place has blown up. Oh dear, it's all kind of ghastly red. I'd like to see some other colours, same maze new. So we're going to try maze number two, see if that's a different colour. I hope it is, I really do hope it is a different colour. If it isn't, well, well that's an opportunity missed. At least I'm going to try and make them a little bit different. So it's a bigger maze this time, and it's green. Oh man. So each time it's harder to find the uh, the door, because the maze is bigger. 
think it can be literally anywhere but not in the ceiling uh, so if I couldn't do the first maze I know where I'm going to do the second maze is there no so it's a wandering around game is it a stress buster well sort of I suppose it would be a little bit if you've got lots of time on your hands you can wander around like a wally oh, I didn't get blown up by that thing anyway uh, but there's no back button, I don't know why. All the other maze games I played did have sort of like uh, uh, a mate, uh, a back button, go backwards and forwards. Beep. So that's the only jeopardy really, those uh, those grates of doom. I think the door to exit would be like purple or red, and it would just open and says goodbye, it will say like that. So it's not, not the most exciting game uh, in the world, is it really? Uh, good, other good maze games, I think that 3D Pac-Man was a good one where it's basically like this but you're collecting uh, pellets as you do in the Pac-Man game and Zigzag, that was a good one as well uh, we got to catch uh, beasts around a maze like this as well so check that one out it's probably quite a few well probably dozens, maybe hundreds of other maze games I'm yet to come to but this is probably in terms of the speed of the thing is the most advanced one I've seen it's drawing it very very quickly so it's using some sort of compiler that the other ones prior to that didn't do uh, there's yes, it's ZX81, the first one really, 3D Monster Maze in JK Gray software. Uh, I think you needed an upgraded it to 16K to get the most out of that anyway. And that's just black and white. Uh, Color remake, of course, had the glorious ZX Spectrum colours. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I really want to find the exit, but as I say, this is my first go at trying to recreate the experience you would have had on that go. I uh, don't necessarily need the instructions, but you, you say you don't, don't need to have the instructions, but you don't need it on this. You might have found it on a C90 tape just handed to you in the playground when you mind your own business, so play that, you wally. Uh, but uh, yeah, 3D Maze. There's probably quite a few games with the same name, so this might not be the 3D Maze that you remember. Uh, right. Uh, I don't think they'd remake this now. If they did remake this now, what do you reckon would happen? It was 3D Maze 2023, which is the year I'm uh, recording this. What would what would be in it? Be an undulating ceiling. Mind you, I haven't said that. In 1996, when I controlled Lara Croft, there's a blunder in the series. Where we went through the whole of the first game. She was she was running through bits that are a bit bit square, a bit not too similar to this. But obviously the uh, the graphics were, were were rendered and shaded and stuff and various bits and pieces. But uh, you can maybe see an evolution. Uh, instead of um, you seeing through my, my eyes here, uh, imagine Lara Croft is in front of me running along. C could could easily have happened. There we go. So, you know, everything influenced everything else. Uh, yeah, 1996, that was the first Tomb Raider game by Core Design. Uh, the, 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 um, the floor is not too similar from Lara Croft's kitchen, I seem to remember, in the second game. So maybe maybe we're in Lara Croft's basement. If you are in Lara Croft's basement, then comment below. This isn't a euphemism again. Right. It's a PG channel, folks. Nothing to do with the tea bags. PG tips. Bib, 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 bib. If you're still here, then well done you. Which is fairly... Uh, you've got the game, probably, in the, in the first 30 seconds. Now it's just me rambling on, going around a green maze, uh, but you, you, we're lost in. Oh god, if you've got a sense of direction, then comment below. We're always a big load of moves. So, yeah, I would say keep doing the smallest maze first, 20 by 20. What's that? 400 squares. Is that 20 by 20? I can do the map. So, you know, in somewhere in the in the 400 moves, if you can explore the whole of the maze, um, the blue door, I've had an attic attack, we're about to get through that. Yeah, you explore the whole of the maze, and you probably get it by random. It's basically how quick can you do the thing. Time taken, uh, but then you can't go on forever because we've only got about two seconds. The board is flashing like crazy. If you're flashing like crazy, then uh, comment below and, um, you know, maybe get off the main road. Right. Oh, you're going to get arrested. Right, let's do... Let's do oh, I've really got enough to do it now, but I, I'm quite tempted to do the same, the 20 by 20 maze. I'll have a quick go. If I don't find it quickly, we'll get out of here and do something else like a triple somersault or eat a donut or you could watch another video if you want if you're going through these in the playlist one by one then well done you you got to this it's going to take you forever uh, to do those please subscribe if you haven't already ever said that anyway I don't know might as well say it again I need the subscribers promise land is to get to 10,000 subs that seems a long long way away at the moment we're not even at 5,000 at time recording but anyway um, if you watch this years afterwards you can probably see if I made it or not if I'm still alive. Um, right, that's a dead end again. Or a cul-de-sac, oh, the French people say. Cul-de-sac. Uh, I don't know what the Spanish people say. They probably say, eh? Uh, I don't know. Right, um... 
Yes, where is the exit? East, we're going east, we're going north, we're going east again, we're going south. Well, now we're going east. Oh, I don't know. I'm lost, man. I'm lost, baby. I'm lost big time, baby. Why am I still playing this? I don't know. I probably played Emb Embassy Assault quite a long oh, time as well. Oh. Yes, yeah, so recapping then, if you're going to pick a maze game, pick uh, Zigzag. That's what I would say. Zigzag or, or the uh, colour remake by Richard Dodds of 3D Monster Maze. They're the, two, they're the two, I think, that you should be concentrating on. Bib, 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 bib. Oh. Mm. I mean, what would be nice in this maze if occasionally it changed colours? That's my one criticism. It's 1986. They probably could have done it. It goes green or a bit of it's in cyan or red because then you could divide it up in your mind uh, where you're actually physically glowing. With it all being green looking similar, it's, it's a bit annoying and it doesn't give much variety for the eyes. So coded as well as it has been. It's doing the bare basics if you take away the checkered floor. Um, there of what the game should do. It's got shaded uh, walls, which is another advancement there, but overall it's not particularly exciting as a piece of work, but it's good to see as a piece of history to see where the direction of evolution these things were actually going uh, to. But these something running around, I think, by this time in 1987. Some some extra jeopardy rather than just finding the uh, exit door. So, you know, I'm going to run out of steam very, very quickly on this one. So we will actually leave it there so i hope you're giving you a bit of an overview of this game whether you want to download it or not i got it from spectrum computing or you can get it from world of spectrum if you're emulating so yeah that was 3d maze by jd steel in 1986 there got any comments about this game similar games anything retro or maze based then by all means put that in the comment section below always love uh, hearing from you until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye write down your favorite dance move whether it be the wiggly worm uh, the moonwalk, uh, uh, point to the ceiling, point to a random object, um, thrust your knee into a, uh, a chair.